As you know, the good news is that it was recording. Bad news is that for some reason my microphone quality changed. Uh, it reset. So I have fixed that. Uh, hopefully. I haven't double checked it, but I have fixed it. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to handle that. I, I, it, this is a game where I can't go back and re record. I can't load an old save, so I'm kind of stuck with the footage that I have, and I apologize for that, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to put that into one large-ass video. It looks like it was about 50 minutes of that. That sucks. Okay, let's head back to Upper Caress and we can continue going. Uh, my new objective is to find the Flail in Travancall. Beware the High Council in Travancall. And the High Council is where I would recommend you go level up. And yeah, I had to reboot the game so everything here is respawned. I'll uh, just try to go up from here. I'm not going to go back down. Hopefully the game stops freaking out on me a little bit. Um, I did clear up some room. I was kind of thinking that was it. We have a Cantor here. Which is an upgraded uh, sexton again. Uh, that is very annoying. That's only the second time that the uh, that the microphone has reset on like that. And this is the first game that's done it where I cannot cannot go back and re-record everything. There's a War Scepter. It's probably not going to be better than what I've got, but hey, it's there. Hit the damn Cantor. Now, like I said, you're going to start finding larger buildings here. Yeah, I remember that skeleton. You're going to find larger buildings here. Uh, no... No dungeon in here, though. No dungeon. I was kind of hoping for one. Sometimes there is one. But not always. Obviously, because there was nothing in there. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to talk about was... Um, I apologize for not getting this information to you guys, but by the time I found out, it was pretty much there was pretty much only time for me to download it and play it myself. So I didn't think that was going to be enough time for for me to, mi to p make a video and post it. And uh, you guys probably aren't following me for gaming news anyway. But uh, for the weekend of um, I believe it was the 20th to the 23rd, um, Diablo 3's beta went open. As long as you had a Battle.net account, you could download and play the beta for a few days, uh, which was Act 1. Um, I didn't make any videos on it, uh, but I did play it. Uh, because everybody has made videos on it, you can find tons of videos on the beta already. I wasn't going to bring anything new to the table uh, when it came to that. Um, plus, you know, most of it was going to be me finding out how the game mechanics work and all that kind of stuff. And that's not that's not really entertaining for anybody to watch. Uh, but in terms of how I felt about it, it's not very much different than uh, what I played when I was at BlizzCon uh, in terms of how, it's, how it functions. Um, I played a little bit of... Uh, well, okay, I played a little bit on Barbarian... And I played a little bit in Demon Hunter, uh, in single player when I was in uh, when I was in BlizzCon, and by far I love Barbarian so much better. And it's really a matter of personal preference. I, there's no way that one is better than the other. There's no way to say that. You had nothing on you anyway. Uh, that's what I love about Blizzard is that they usually balance things very very well. Not always at first, not always when it first comes out, but uh, any changes that they need to make, they are more than willing to make those. And they try to make as many as they can at the beginning. There's always going to be stuff that they don't see. We've got beetles. Fucking beetles. Bone scarabs. You want to take care of them? I'm going to be over here. We have a circlet over here. We haven't seen a circlet before. Let's take a look at it. 42... And then 31 to life. That's not going to be worth it for me. Not going to be worth it for him. Maybe. I'll have, to, I'll have to take a look at that later. That's close for him. That's close. Did you take him all out? Nicely done. I can't carry, I can't carry a Grand Scepter? Are you kidding me? I can't. Did I forget to empty this out? I did. Crap. Okay. Um... Was a grand scepter, right? Yeah. 
two holy freeze and okay what am I what am I doing I can't even do anything with that anyway uh, it's fun it's easy as hell but as I've shown um, act you know it's act one in in normal difficulty which if you remember was easy as hell when I did it it's like the first four levels of uh, well okay Diablo was harder. Diablo was harder than Diablo 2 in terms of when it starts. Um, but I think this game is harder in the long term uh, because it forces you to to use skills and that kind of stuff well. You can't just use skills, you have to use them well. And that's just normal difficulty to beat the game. Then you go up to uh, no Nightmare in Hell difficulty and it gets even harder from there. But I guess people were expecting when you start Diablo 3 for it to be like Nightmare. You know, it's supposed to be tough. And I'm like, this game was always easy to start. They don't want to scare people off. It's, it's good for the casual gamer, but there's a depth there for for the hardcore gamer. You know, it's there. You just have... To you're just not going to see it in the, in the demo, but I guess it didn't receive too great of reviews, the, the demo, from what I understand. Um, I thought it was great. I loved it. You know, I, I didn't have these high expectations, I guess, that other people did, or I, I didn't have a false memory of the game, be uh, of these games, because I've been doing them this whole time, you know. A lot of times that you'll, you'll find out that when you go back and try to play a game, uh, that you that you remember as a kid, you go back and play it, and you're like, this is not how I remember it. Well, no, of course not. You were 10 when you played it. Nothing is how you remember when you were 10. I recently went back and watched uh, Good Burger for... Oh, God, that dates me. That dates me, doesn't it? Back when uh, all that was on Nickelodeon, and, and Kenan and Kel were, you know, the big stars of the channel. I, I watched uh, that, and... God, it was awful. I, 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 as I'm sitting there, I'm like, did I ever think this was funny? Seriously? The hell was I thinking? But, you know, it was... It, I can't say it was my favorite movie growing up because it wasn't, but I thought it was funny. You know, I didn't own it or anything, but, you know, I saw it on TV, and I'm like, oh, yeah, let, let's check that out. And I watched it. Oh, my God, what the hell was wrong with me? But, you know, it... As long as somebody says something that's supposed to be funny, I kind of laughed along with it. That's kind of how I went, apparently, because just, good lord. I, I'd say some of the jokes, but I, I can't think of anything that was a joke. It, well, it was all slapstick, you know, and I'm not, I'm not a slapstick guy. Or... Incredible stupidity, I guess, was, was another theme that they had going. Kel was supposed to be very, very stupid throughout the whole the whole thing. But you know, it, that's that's a whole different point. Okay, so Diablo three. <laughs> How the hell do I get on these tangents? Damn, that's expensive. Uh, that's not that great. Okay, what what did you have? H how much? How much for this? Okay. Good lord, they're telling me that this is so much better. So, it, this just has fire resist plus 25. This has plus 31 to life. How, how's he doing? Nah, he's good. He's good on fire. Take this. It pains me to get rid of, to get rid of something like that, but... 31 to life, man. 31 to life when he's only got 400. So, 31 is, is quite a jump for him. It's... What about... Just under 10%. Just under 10%. Alright, let's not make the same mistake that I did before. Um. Can I do... Yes, okay, I can do that. Thank oh God. Uh, but yeah, I, w I wasn't expecting too much because I had already previously played it. I've played single player, uh, the beta. I, I played, you know, maybe 15 minutes of the first act uh, at BlizzCon as both the Demon Hunter and the Barbarian. Uh, then I went back and uh, played Arena. Well, not in that order, but still, I went back. I went and played Arena uh, with most of. The Holy crap! 
You. There. I don't care. I don't- I, I don't care. All resistance is plus 11. That's all I care about. That is all I care about. What do I got here? We're starting to get some good, good stuff. It's been a while, but I do have an increase in attack rating, which is nice. But holy crap, that's actually one of my favorite types of uh, types of amulets. Of course, they called it rainbow. Uh, the one that I'm gonna make is different. That is what I'm aiming for with all my gems eventually. Hopefully, I can get there. As always, I can't guarantee anything. Uh, the the Diablo 3 bit, I mean, I knew what to expect going in. Uh, does it play a little bit more like an MMO than, than this game? Yeah! Yes, it does. Are, are, are they going to do things in the game that makes it seem like it's all about the money? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Uh, but it's a lot of fun to play. It's better than this. You know, here, for instance, the battle system, even though I like the battle system, is pretty standard. Especially as a melee class. If I, you know, if I'm a ranged attacker, the, the, the attacking's different. But, you know, if, I, if I'm doing magic attacks, if I'm doing a lot of casting, the attack, the, the attacking in the game is different. But for me, I'm pretty much clicking on enemies. And that's how I win. I click to win. But, in Diablo 3, it changes a bit. A bit. You know, not too much. Uh, but... Yeah, Greaves. Have we seen Greaves? Those are what Greaves look like. I can't wear them. They, they're usually not that great anyway. Yeah, plus four defense if I, you know, invest a ton into strength. <laughs> Just doesn't seem worth it to me. Have I been here? Uh... Yeah, it's a little more MMO-ish, you know, you gotta keep you gotta keep more of an eye on things. Uh definitely. Uh the way that the story told is a lot is told is a lot better. It's told out on the field. Uh you can play little clips like in remember in uh, Fallout 3 they had little holotapes or whatever they they were called. Where you could kind of listen to the story as you moved. That's what they're doing in um in Diablo 3, uh, but they've also turned down the sound on everything else while the holotape plays so that you can actually listen to it. It's very nice, except they call them like journals, I think. You know, obviously they're not holotapes in Diablo 3. But, you know, they use a similar mechanic. And I like that. You know, have, am I a fan of MMO style um, fighting? Never have been. Never had it. I'm also not a fan of missing that many times in a row. Uh, nice, and a level up. Uh, for instance, there was a game that I used to play uh, called Dot Hack. I'm sure some of you have heard of that. Um, I will never do Dot Hack. Sorry. It's just no. <laughs> uh, me and that game don't have a good history. I've gotten into a fight with an LPer about that game. He probably doesn't remember it, but like, God, I was just like, he he was defending that game up and down. Pretty much said that I didn't know what I was talking about because I didn't watch the anime. And I'm kind of like, the game's kind of boring. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I I I was talked into that game by GameStop, and uh, when I was in college, and I ended up playing two of the games. Uh, the regular dot hack games. The Forgotten Reliquary! Uh, I ended up playing two of them. Neither one was very good. Um, but they used... I mean, the whole premise of the game was that you're a real-life person playing a video game. Playing, uh, well, World of Warcraft. I mean, there's no, there was no way around it. You were playing World of Warcraft, except they called it The World, and, you know, you know. It, w it didn't have the same lore as World of Warcraft, obviously, that would be copyrighted, they didn't have orcs and all that kind of stuff. But I mean, there was no way around it. You were playing an MMO, and it was more or less EverQuest or Ragnarok Online. I, I haven't played many MMOs, but I mean, it was it was a quite essential MMO. The problem was that if, if 
when you took the game within the game, I'll, I'll just call it the world from now on, if you took the world um, in and of itself, the game sucked. The world sucked. You know what I mean? Like, there were no quests, uh, as far as you could tell. Uh, you just go around and everybody's talking about, did you get this item yet? No, it's the way that you even found a, a dungeon was you put a random... Um, a random set of... Do I, I still have that fucking thing in there. Why don't I check that thing? That's the amulet. Not good. Uh, you put a random set of keywords into this uh, teleporter, and it would teleport you to a randomly generated field, which you could then explore, and then you could find a dungeon in it, maybe, depending on uh, what kind of r what what words you use. Sometimes there was a dungeon, sometimes there wasn't, and then you could explore the dungeon, and at the bottom there'd be a chest, and that chest would have the best item in it. And sometimes there was a, there were hard enemies, sometimes there weren't. And that, as far as you could tell while playing the game dot hack, was all there was to the world. And when you wa ran up to, to random enemies, the character auto-attacked. Which is the worst thing that you can do. I hate auto-attack. I understand the need for it in an MMO. I do. You don't always want to click, 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 click if you're going to be playing for hours and hours and hours at a time. I get that. But at the same point, I need to be involved in the fucking action. Could you imagine me playing this game with, with my paladin just auto-attacking as soon as I walked up to somebody? I wouldn't even need to be here. Like, all I'm doing is clicking. That's the only thing I'm doing. I'm rarely... You even using the blessed hammer unless there's a big group of enemies but can you imagine me not even needing to click on these enemies you know just I'm standing here and I'm auto attacking go blessed hammer I'll that would be so boring of a game but that was what the game within the game for this was and That's I, I mean I hate MMO fighting that, that is like that. But I know a lot of people seem to like that. They're like, I don't, you know, I like to eat chips when I'm playing video games. I don't like to eat fucking anything when I'm playing video games. What are you talking about? I like to have a drink in front of me from time to time, but that doesn't mean I, I want to be in the middle of a boss fight and take a sip. You know, I take sips during breaks. And here we have the Caress Causeway. God, I'm all over the map. That's okay, though. That's okay. Just use one of the choir. Oh! Fuck you guys. Of course. No, 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 no. Oh, that was close. Fuck you guys. Fuck you guys. Better give me a greater healing out of that. Uh. I don't like. Yeah, I've never been one. I like to be involved in the game. I like the game to know that I'm there. Uh. And that's why, you know, for me, Final Fantasy XII was kind of a letdown. I didn't need to be there. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, it's still a decent game, and I like how it's how how the MMO style fighting is set up, but at the end of the day, I still want to attack. I don't want the character I don't want to program my characters to do everything. You know. It was, it was like they turned, I don't know, I mean, it, Final Fantasy XII was clearly them trying to, to bridge the gap between Final Fantasy and MMOs, and a lot of people didn't appreciate that, and that was kind of one of them. I mean, I understood what they were going for, I just didn't like the changes. But I wasn't sitting there going, oh my god, this is the worst thing ever. Okay, seriously, stop hitting me to the damn side with the upgrade claw vipers. I didn't even get to see your name. Because you kept moving me. I feel more skillful now. Go around and hit somebody. There. Got him. Down you go as well. Damn. These are they're tough enemies in here. There are. There usually are. This is I'd say this is a good place to level up, but no, don't level up on these guys. They're tough. And I do actually need to go back to town now. 
MMO styles Stay aren't that great. And they, they, I mean, they didn't bring that level. Hello. What's up, Armis? What you got to say? You have done well, my friend. Your courage and valor are an inspiration to us all. But now the time has come to face those responsible for the evil that has stifled our land. You must destroy the High Council of Zakarum. Long ago, these elders were charged with the stewardship of Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who was imprisoned within the Guardian Tower. Through the generations, these pious men slowly fell more and more under the sway of Mephisto's malevolent power. And the Council became an evil mockery of its former glory. It is Mephisto's hatred that has corrupted Zacharum and turned its devout followers into paranoid fanatics. That is why you must travel to the temple city of Travancal and slay the Council. Once they are gone, Mephisto's hold over this land and its people will be broken. So once again, we have the a... Diablo and Bale have surely found the Temple City by now. They seek to free their brother, Mephisto, who was imprisoned by the Haradrim in the Temple's Guardian Tower. You must reach him before his brothers do, and prevent them from releasing hatred upon the world. Are you done? You done? Okay, good. Uh, so once again, we have a while you're there, you can kill the guy quest, uh, which I was planning to do anyway. 